Hi, this afternoon I want to talk about our new 1911 sword cane. I really like this cane because the handle imitates the same grip of a 1911 automatic pistol. And I'm quite fond of 1911 45s and 38 supers and 9 millimeters. In fact, almost anything that you can put on 1911, I like. And so we bought the patent for this cane from an inventor, clever guy, and I decided to make this cane and we went to great pains to duplicate the exact feel of a 1911 grip. So it feels just like your favorite 1911-45 with the bonus that inside it's got this super lethal 19 inch long 10 millimeter thick blade. 10 millimeters so when you make an insertion with this sword cane you're punching a big hole. I want the camera to come in here on that point. That is a lethal, lethal point, my friends. It's needle sharp, takes very little effort to get that to bite. So when you hold the sword cane in your hand like this, and you put this shaft between your fingers, it's like a giant push dagger. It's very easy to direct that point. You can make a thrust with it. You can disengage really easily with it. Um, it's very natural to use and very quick into action. It's quick into action because we use our friction seal to secure it into the shaft of the sword cane. So it goes in there and it's secured by friction seal o-rings and it only takes a twist and pull it out. You can pull it out very violently and quickly if you want to. And the other bonus of this is this shaft is made out of three millimeter thick aluminum and it makes a pretty good improvised weapon as well. So really this cane converts into two weapons if you will very quickly. For traction in everyday use we've given it a custom rubber ferrule so it has a lot of grip on uneven surfaces especially when you're going across sidewalks that are slippery at night. Um, this is a huge benefit. I found in my recent trip to Alaska that having a sword cane, in that case I used this heavy duty sword cane you see behind me, really helped me on really uneven uh, surfaces when I was bucking the brush. I had a knee injury and this cane really helped a lot and I think I would have been lost without it. So remember when you're carrying a cane it takes you from a biped to a tripod. <laughs> you have a lot more stability when you're using a cane. Anytime you start to lose your balance or it looks unsteady, the footing looks back, you can anchor yourself with your walking stick. And this 1911 is so sturdy, you can put any amount of weight on it and it won't fold. It'll always support you. And it's very easy because it imitates the 1911 grip frame so closely, you can take any grip that fits the 1911 and put it on your cane. For instance, this is one of my personal canes here and I added mammoth ivory grips that I bought at the Blade Show. And they're very beautifully matched. I just love them. Um, I'm a sucker for mammoth ivory and every year I usually buy a new set of mammoth ivory grips for one of my 45s. I really, really like it. So you can dress this cane up or you can dress it down. You can leave the standard stippled polypropylene grip that comes with it. And this is a very sturdy grip and it's quite thin so it doesn't add any bulk to your hand and it's really 
comfortable or you can add your own custom grips and dress it up. There you have it again, the 1911 sword cane from Cold Steel, a useful tool and a fearsome weapon.